safety equipment while you're underway on a vessel is very important. It's what we as environmental police officers look for while we're doing inspections or patrolling the waterways of the state. Uh, one of the biggest things that we can, that safety equipment is important for saving your life. Um, we, we check the safety equipment such as anchor and line. For example, if you're on the Connecticut River and you're having engine troubles, that anchor and line will keep you from drifting downriver or into other vessels so you can secure yourself. You know, bailers or a bailer for on your boat and be able to, if you're taking on water, to get rid of that water. But the biggest and one of the most important things that we always check for are life jackets. Um, state law requires that a life jacket be on board for every person that is on the boat. Mm -hmm. They have to be size appropriate. That means if you have children on board, you have to have children children size life jackets. Um, any child under the age of 12 has to have that life jacket on while the boat is underway and they are above deck on the vessel. Um, adults do not have to have the life jacket on but they have to be in possession of one. They have to have one on board in case they need it. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a throwable type life preserver um, type 4 life jacket or life preserver as we refer to them in case someone goes overboard and those come in two different types. Um, I have a throw bag as mm -hmm. an example. Or those big round orange rings that are usually um, people refer to or think of when they see boats. But this is basically it's a bag of line that if someone goes overboard you hold on to the line, you throw them the bag and that's what you would pull them back to the vessel to save them from, um, from drowning. The other one that um, smaller fishing boats are more familiar with are the uh, seat cushions. Usually the, the guy, the operator will sit on that cushion as a, as for comfort, but if that person goes overboard, that cushion is what they would throw that person to hold on to to stay afloat until they can come back and pick them up. But the, uh, the life jackets um, come in different styles. The uh, traditional orange life jacket everybody thinks of, um, basically type 2 PFD designed for inland water use, um, near shore, buoyant vest, um, very, very effective, but maybe not as stylish and comfortable as some of the stuff that's out there now. Um, this is typical what people think of as a life jacket. Um, now, traditionally, or you see a lot of people wearing these. These are uh, basically inflatable suspenders, classifies as a, as a type three life jacket. Not as bulky, a little more stylish, just as effective. But if the person has these on board as their life jackets, that person must be wearing them to be effective and be counted by law. Um, this one is actually self-inflating, so that way if you go in the water, it will inflate on its own. It also has a pull handle that if you need to inflate it immediately, you can activate that and it will turn into a, a life jacket to keep you afloat. Um, this is what we wear while we're under underway and patrolling. Very comfortable, easy to work out of, not as hot, and just as effective if you need a life jacket. Um, I spoke earlier about having a size appropriate life jacket. This is actually a youth sized life jacket. And one of the biggest issues or, or violations we encounter when we're checking vessels is a operator may not necessarily always have children on board so what they will try to do is fit a child into an adult sized life jacket and we'll demonstrate to them right on the vessel that they can put that child in that life jacket and you basically grab a hold of the life jacket and that jacket will pull right off of that child so if that, that kid goes into the water what happens is the life jacket stays afloat the person slides out of the life jacket and it's not effective so if you're going to wear a life jacket, make sure that it's size appropriate and fitted for that person, especially children. And a reminder is all children under 12 while they're on deck must be wearing a size appropriate life jacket. Excellent. And if you, so if you do find, you know, a boat without life jackets, what is the repercussion? What, what we do at that point is we carry extra life jackets on our vessel. Okay. We lend them to them to be safe. Mm -hmm. We escort them right back to where they came from or the closest dock. Their voyage is terminated at that time because of safety equipment. Okay. Anything else? That one. Okay, perfect.